The United Nations has issued a public disclaimer on the Dr. Kwame Owusu UN's fake award saga. In a statement published on Sunday, it was categorically stated that the United Nations, neither in Ghana or anywhere else, has any affiliation with the Blueprints um, Global Challenge Awards, nor with organization Blueprints Mission or its personnel in any way, shape, or form. They went on to advise the general public to access, um, to access genuine information by visiting the relevant UN agencies' website or the UN Ghana websites. Hmm. See, I feel like this is the time now to, I can, I can categorically say my bias against these people is not just a bias. So when I re re um, saw the story, I went and, and dog I already had in, the impression that these mm. people are, I don't know the word to call it, now. I don't know if they're white, they're also racist, but I know that there is disparities between how they treat minorities and how they treat white people, and it is very true. The Ghana, <laughs> the Ghana website has not been updated in years. It looks like something that hmm. a upcoming IT student made in comparison to the other websites. One, even when you're talking about the websites and the, their fate in Africa, it is very impossible to have any international backings with you and <clears throat> all their programs for abroad, Nigeria is not on there. A lot of African countries are not on there. So I think it's only SA and Kenya or something like two other countries for people who claim to be really working and focusing on Africa because that's where the need is and that's what the establishment was for. There's a lot of disparities into it. The Black Lives Matter thing. I made my research. They were they were not allowed to participate, and these are black staffs working abroad in the UN community. Mm. So I think it's fair to say for me that these people don't actually have our good in, our good interests at heart, and they are focused on the people that are um, what's it called. Look, 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 um, look creating their pockets rather than actually like people that matter. So this story for me is good that they're coming out to clear it out because yes, I have I've complained many times that their that their um, information in terms of who they are affiliated with is kind of um skewed. Well, um, skew, but. Other than that, honestly, I really don't care about you anymore. Following up on what you said, I mm -hmm. think um, it's also clear that um, they tend to take advantage of certain situations. And when it's not working in their favor, they are quick to come and put out a disclaimer. Mm. We saw that with the Banj, mm -hmm. when um, for a long time we thought it was a UN ambassador. And they let it until go. The ra and mm. they let it go. So it's like, they just as long as it's working in our favor, mm. it's fine. It's mm. you guys or whatever, whatever goes. Yeah. But as soon as it, it tends to tarnish their image a little bit, they're quick to jump on the slim so fix yourself i think the yeah. problem is from the un mm. and not all those people because if you're not so easily accessible to be imposed mm -hmm. on, upon then i don't think okay i'm i'm just glad they did the disclaimer and uh, this doctor or whatever i don't know what is going to happen but sakodi sorry eh? and oh yeah